thirds, reflection, rotation, dilation, and translation. So reflection, rotation, dilation, and translation. Looking at this, we're going to reflect this object, this triangle, across the y-axis, just like a mirror. This is what we would call a reflection. We reflect just like a mirror across the y-axis. Now, we don't have to always reflect across the y-axis. This is reflected across the x-axis. This is a reflection, just like a mirror. This point here would correspond to this point here. This point here would correspond to this point here. This is a reflection across the x-axis. So our next word is rotation. So if I wanted to take this shape and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, it would look like this. I take the shape and I rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, just like this. That's a rotation. Here, this is also a rotation. I have rotated 180 degrees, taking brings us to dilation. Dilation is getting bigger or getting smaller. For example, if we have this triangle here, it's four tall and it's three wide. So if we were to dilate it, if we were to double the size of it, we might have something that's gonna look like this. We went from one, two, three wide to one, two, three, four, five, six wide. We went from one, two, three, four tall to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tall. This is dilation. Our last one that we have is translation. Translation means that we move it. So it's not going to flip around, it's not going to reflect, it's not going to rotate, it's not gonna dilate, it's just gonna move. So for example, here we've moved over one, two, three, and we've moved down one. This is what's called a translation. Our translation moved over and it moved down. So, once again, we've been through reflection, rotation, dilation, and translation. Reflection, 